Hey, good facts here. This is episode number 26 of Pig Iron to Steel Splendor. Let's see if we can get it today with the hair version of D'Angelo Williams. I didn't think of a sponsor beforehand, but let's say uh, the sponsor today is hair, you know, my favorite musical and my least favorite body accessory. I am a waxer. All right, so there's the defense looking pretty stout, you know. Good linebackers, terrible secondary though, so maybe stout's the wrong word. More like a weak light beer, I guess you'd call that uh, secondary, although linebackers are still solid. Here we go, kickoff. Lawrence Timmons screaming down the field, and we get the nice little uh, quick tackle there. Uh, roll out quick. He looks like he wants to roll out, so I'm going to have to know to send a spy against this guy. I sent five with contains on it. He goes to the flat smartly, get him out there. Third and fourth and ten going for it. Great. First drive, fourth and ten. Going for it, you know, this is amazing. So he ends up not getting it and quitting. Um, GG. So let's move on to the picks. We get one for winning and one for causing a rage quit. Although I don't know how much rage he felt more. Uh, how would you call that emotion, quitting right away? Oh, 97 Lamar Woodley. Holy crap. Look at those stats. I guess he's a little low on the speed scale at 87, especially for 97 overall. But overall, he's a pretty good player. Ryan Shazier, another linebacker. Holy crap, I had the 94 version. I didn't think the 98 version just really needed the upgrade for the squad. More use some uh, defensive backfield help. But 96 speed, he will be my user, of course. Play Rex high, but Block Shed's 93. He will be able to help against the run. There now is the defense upgrade. Those linebackers look so sweet. So Bud Dupree is now my right outside linebacker. And I did learn a nano, like I said a couple videos back when I lost, that I was going to learn one uh, for the uh, 34 playbook because I'm not very familiar with it. I did. It's the double loop out of the 245 Prowl. I found one on YouTube. I can link it in the description if you guys want me to. Um, I'll put it down there, a video of it. Um, you'll see it a little bit later in this uh, game right here. All right, so we're kicking off, and uh, Mr. Cad with the Cowboys. God, I hate facing anybody playing the Cowboys because of the dark on dark uniforms. I cannot believe Madden developers have let this go on for months. It wasn't this way at the start of Mutt, if I recall, or Madden. It, it, it came this way in a patch from memory. Um, so they pa actually patched this into the game. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Nice juke there on the toss. But he tossed first place, so of course, you know we're going to need to be aware of that. Um, like, our user there is aware of the guy running up the middle, and we get the tackle. But there's the QB. Nice little keeper there for the first down. Well played to uh, stuff my uh, expected up the middle. But there it is. Breaking plays right away. Lamar Woodley for our team. Studly off the edge. There's Greg Lloyd missing a tackle there off the other side so so far Lamar Woodley and there is the loop there is the sack so you need a fast guy there I put D Bud Dupree in for Timmons when I run that loop there middle linebacker uh, but no inside zone inside zone nice job shutting him down so we'll switch the split close and go to the corner route see what he does there we complete it and I guess that just made him frustrated me sending a nano and he quit so let's pick a couple more before we get into another game but uh, scrolling down the list here um, still a lot of Steelers left to go. Could really use that Rod Woodson. Uh, any Rod Woodson. Um, truly. But who do we get here? Now we get 82 Kelvin Beecham. I really didn't need too much of an O-line upgrade. Although my running game has been pretty bad. His run block is very realistic. He's not a great run blocker, but one of the best pass blockers in the league. Um, he moved on from Pittsburgh this past offseason to Jacksonville, if memory serves correctly. Um, good luck down there uh, fan favorite up here, but those are the stats run blocking. I don't know. He's okay um, Martavis Bryant another wide receiver as we get that pick again um, What can I say he's pretty fast 93 speeds? Okay? Um, especially for the level I'm playing at he's tall uh, spec catch good, so I Don't really need him since I got three what is it 94 plus wide receivers Heinz Ward Antonio Brown and Kotri, okay, 92 plus. So he will probably be my fourth receiver, maybe run him for streaks or something. But anyways, kicking off for against the SOS Rams, and uh, right strong close, close right off the bat. The you know kind of the formation you see a lot in these. Uh, I don't want to, I don't know how to say lower level, but four vert strong close. Uh, you'll see that scheme a lot, so kind of be prepared for it coming out right away. Throw, oh man, nice pass there, reading the holes between the defense. My linebackers can't drop into a good zone to save their life. 
uh, but they are not zone coverage linebackers, not 4-3 linebackers. They're 3-4 linebackers. They're Blitzburg Steeler edge rushers. So, you know, they don't get paid to uh, drop in coverage. They get paid to make sacks. And sacks is what we want to do as we drop a lot of people in coverage. But he still hits the corner route there for quite a good pickup. Mr. Mundy there is for the tackle. Oh, there's the loop. We looped back around him. Bud just went, walked right around his offensive line, basically. And the user pick there. He got a little shaky, and I did a little shaggy dog. It wasn't me. Oh, wait, it was. It is my ball now, and I will inside zone. See how I, my guys are required to do a double team there on the outside? We're not getting a free release there on our offensive line, and that really hurts the running game. But that juke right there from Mr. D'Angelo Williams and the breaking tackle got us some extra yards. Let's do it again this time with Le'Veon. Le'Veon, my brother, you are older than me. That's right. That's the Elton John song. Anyways, Blunt up the middle, his specialty, he didn't do nearly as well as uh, Bell or D'Angelo Williams on their specialties, the inside zone. There's a quick out route to Mr. Antonio Brown, and we are driving down. Very nice. Offense is running smoothly. That toss to Archer didn't run so smoothly. He ran a little like a, I don't know, slide right D-line thing type of deal. We picked it up and scored the touchdown to the corner. So we're hyped. He's going deep, of course, right away. And, oh, Mr. Antoine Blake, I'm complaining about my secondary, and he is... Picking passes off like a pro. So, uh, we'll inside zone it again. And Bell, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are you kidding me? Maybe that's because he's trying to strip the ball that he's breaking so many tackles. But uh, nice work there. Held the block a little, little less than we'd want to. But still nice job on the blocking scheme right there. As he sends kind of an overload blitz one way uh, with man coverage behind it. We pick it up. Throw Katri. We just thread that needle. Nice work for his defensive tackles. And blunt. Also, gets commemorated for actually getting back to the line of scrimmage there. So he toss out to Archer, and his speed kills literally um, when he lights a match on your face and then starts fires at your home, burning uh, your dog and children mercilessly. So he had a guy wide open there, decides to take it with a QB, and we get a nice little stick on him. Lamar Woodley coming up again. First game in the show. Well, not first game, second game. First real game. Making plays for us, though. Antonio Brown... Possession catching the ball, basically acting like a demon of the field, uh, possessing balls, kind of like, uh, you know, angels and whatever, demons possess bad bodies. I don't know what I'm going at. Let's call him a body snatcher. Uh, yeah, Brown the body snatcher. As we go to the corner for the possession catch. So we get the touchdown. Um, it is ended up being overruled. I wrote a letter, letter to Goodell. He probably threw it in his uh, trash. Anyways, we're up three scores. We got firm control of this game. It's a nice thing, but I'm showing a kickoff. You might be asking yourself, hey, Good Fox, you normally don't show kickoffs during the middle of games. Why is that? Oh, God, no. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Once you saw I didn't cause any fumbles, you were like, no, he's breaking to the outside, and it's going for six the other way. So uh, the firm possession is now uh, being held on a little bit looser. I know some people like it a little looser, you know, get a little bit more excitement that way. But I don't. I like it nice and firm. Nice little juke there by D'Angelo Williams to get a bounce. So let's drive back down and get those points back. Let's go back to the corner there. Brown that time drags his feet. Thank you. Ref that time calls him in bounds. Our one incompletion on the game is a one lack of drag feeding. That was just a bad read to go underneath with 22 seconds left in the, in the half. But, you know, roll out. What's open? Not much. Wise open. Wise open. But Vic takes off. Uh, we try to get the slider, but we're not able to get it in. We get another timeout there. Let's see what else we got open here. Y is open there at the back of the end zone. Possession catch. Oh, my God. He dropped it. So, eight seconds. Let's try to get in better field goal range. So, that's what we do. Ward, if you break a couple more tackles, one more, two more. Oh, man. He gave it his all, but we're getting able to get the timeout in with one second and kick the field goal to take a, what, if I can do math, 13, 15, 18-point lead or something around that. I don't know. What's a number? So we get the ball back right away in the second half as we're going out to the flats. Oh, lovely. Just keep it grinding down the clock. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Oh, we had a few openings there for nice little receptions, but we decided to go to the corner route. Little double drags here. Dumbly almost threw it right to his guy, but Mr. D'Angelo bailed us out like a bank and the federal government. There we go over the top. Miller, nice way to hang on and take that hit. Way to take it like a champ. A lot of openings there, and we go decide to go to the flats to D'Angelo. Once again, juking, jiving, Jack, Jim, Jim, Jamboree. I don't know what the heck that is. 
Would you say that last play was more of a hoot nanny or a hold down as we go a little off the edge? That play was much more effective at the start of the game and in a, against a less wide formation than he has. And baby, he's at a double wide as his defensive lineman gets off of my blocker for the sack. Unfortunately, he gets off again before I'm able to see anything go free. So unlike the five finger discount I get at most stores, uh, he did charge me for that and I didn't get that free first down against his defense but we're still up by a good amount so we're not too worried but a uh, little bit time left nice scramble outside the pocket throw a spy on man you see him scramble I threw a spy on there you see that and he just throws deep against me oh no Antoine Blake I just gave you props last game for the pick and he let up that aggressive catch um, so we decided to run a little bit of a blitz there again get through but he is able to scoot off the edge there's Bud Dupree making plays for us but unable to finish the tackle what was that girly just causing issues for our defensive tackling once again we throw that same blitz at him and he beats our cover three right down the center I think that was the blitz not sure Cam Newton nice nice chuck there nice catch there yeah Todd Gurley five rushes eight yards there oh my god you shouldn't go into hurry up man if you don't want to fumble the ball so his hurry up did not work you shouldn't hurry up and go with the same running back again and again Passing play is a little different um, because your receivers can sub out occasionally, although not not really. Wide receivers don't uh, have the same. Anyways, Mr. Bud Dupree, he thinks coming on the blitz, but instead comes back for the user pick. I expected to quit right there, but he wanted a little bit more action. So we go D'Angelo Williams again right into his hit stick. That was a bad juke. We had good jukes earlier today, but Mr. Blunt, there it is, taking it up the middle. Not really showing off his greatest attribute speed, but still got a chunk of yards. That was Rocky Road for the amount of chunks that were in that. Nice little toss off the edge here to Archer. See if we can get that edge. And no. No, no, no. Linemen are too slow to get out there. You got to remember that. Not to hit the right trigger as soon as possible there, Gun Fox. But up the middle, third and inches. Convert for the first down. End the game. 17 seconds left. He doesn't take any more timeouts. So, he ended the game. We got a win. No rage quit. So, we get one pull of the RNG. Who are we going to get today as we just scroll down? 56 to 99s and we get 63 Rajon Neal so I don't think I'll really be adding him to the squad but uh, here he is so I got plenty of halfbacks so anyways that's it for today thanks for watching call to action I will see you tomorrow